désormais on ne nous verra plus ensemble. This year marks Dance Consortium's 20th anniversary. In spite of all the challenges faced by artists in this country and all over the world, we wanted to take a moment to celebrate some of the companies and audiences that we've had the privilege of working with and meeting over the past 20 years. The consortium was established by a group of theatre chief executives 20 years ago in response to a shared desire to see the best international contemporary dance touring to regional audiences across the UK. Since then, the 20 consortium members have presented 46 tours by 26 companies to over 700,000 people. Here's a selection of just some of our highlights and reminiscences from people who've been part of our story over the past 20 years. We're really grateful for the Dance Consortium for giving the chance to share our artistry with many audiences in the UK. I believe experiencing international dancing is like traveling. You get the taste of other cultures, other countries, colors and music, uh, and but from the comfort of a theater scene. It was just a vast volume of hugely brilliant work that we were able to bring to, to regional theatres, regional audiences um, all around the UK and, and the, the, the incredible diversity of that work. Um, I think in the end we ended up touring companies from every continent bar one. Um, so, you know, that, that was the sort of fundamental success of it. find unique is that it is membership led. It's, uh, it is a collective of the, the venues around the country who have a, a passion for contemporary dance and realise that international contemporary dance might have been coming into London but was never getting any further. So it's been a, a way in which we've collectively been able to bring the world's very best dance companies out of London and to tour around the UK for the benefit of audiences everywhere. We dreamt of a, a way in which we could bring theatres across the country together uh, to collaborate and bring international companies to the UK. The wonderful thing about Dance Consortium is that it enables the kind of companies and the kind of dance making from all over the globe to come to our venues that we quite simply wouldn't be able to achieve or we wouldn't, companies we wouldn't be able to attract without working together. I think the collaborative nature of the Dance Consortium is, it was hugely beneficial as well. You know, you've got venues collaborating across the country, um, all kind of like-minded and trying to achieve the same thing. And that had, you know, that had huge sort of benefits and spin-offs for everything else we were doing as well, whether it was audience development or um, community engagement or education or participation, all those kind of elements that came with Dance Consortium that we were able to learn from each other. One of the wonderful things about touring with Dance Consortium and what is very important to the company is not only the touring in London, but in cities all throughout the UK. Uh, and the fabulous thing about it is because Dance Consortium already has such a great reach, Uh, where usually uh, for our company, we have to sort of tether together different cities um, independently, which makes it harder for us. But to already have that streamline with Dance Consortium and their connections throughout the UK uh, made for an extensive uh, touring for us that was really, really wonderful and meaningful for the company. You know, working with Dance Consortium for me, was really incredible because um, the, the level of professionalism, support and um, the people are amazing and just just like there for you, you know, and it's, um, it felt like a family. Every year around 
around 6,000 people participate in Dance Consortium's learning and engagement programme. The aim of the programme is to provide an insight into the companies that we tour and the lives of the dancers. Much of the programme is focused on encouraging the participation of young people, particularly through workshops, masterclasses, our Future Leaders programme and relationship with LIPA, the Liverpool Institute of Performing Arts. So all I'm going to require for us to do is to have fun, relax and ask questions, okay? Dance Consortium's importance has been its dedication to presenting international work that audiences in the UK simply wouldn't have seen without the existence of this organisation and this partnership of UK venues. I think it's an amazing initiative that Dance Consortium has um, put together and that allows for opportunity for connection and collaboration on a global perspective and really important um, to allow more companies to be able to come into Birmingham and beyond and connect with us as a company. As well as this live experience, uh, we're also broadcasting it through Facebook because uh, the company are going on to a tour around the country after this. As a company, we were moved by the response and conversation we shared with audiences and the community at large through our performances, workshops, masterclasses and artist talks. Some of the real highlights for me have been the opportunity to connect in dance and health. So we've had programs where Ballet British Columbia worked with adults going through the recovery process with Fallen Angels Dance Theatre in Salford. We had uh, Mark Morris's fantastic Dance for Parkinson's program leading touring workshops with people living with Parkinson's across the UK. Uh, and those, those individuals then came along to see performances. We've run activities for artists and choreographers. So professional development is a brilliant opportunity to connect international choreographers and artists with audiences and with arts professionals across the UK. And of course, working with young people. So talent development is a really important part of what we're able to do as well. And giving young people the opportunity to work on stage with professional practicing artists, uh, it has been a real, real highlight for me. One of the wonderful things, and I think that um, is a great connection that we have uh, with Dance Consortium is our commitment to dance education. Using it as a tool to go beyond the stage and into the communities. Last year we had an incredible opportunity in having a live, live stream masterclass and I think there were two different schools, artist, artistry, youth, and uh, impact dance. The young people, there was something about the, how passionate and talented they were but it's something about having an exchange with the young people in uh, the UK. It's, it, it goes far beyond them just coming to the theater and having an incredible experience and seeing the performances. When you're on stage along with them, teaching and sharing and receiving from them as much as, as they are receiving from you, there really is a connection of cultures and, and, and generations that you probably would not get in a live performance. Asha is giving me swag, yes. she's giving me personality. So, so I want us all to kind of go there. Yeah, don't be shy, this is your moment. Here we go, with music and Michael. When you connect with the youth, you are not only uh, giving to the youth, but you are also, in a sense, prepping and nurturing the future. You're prepping and nurturing future audiences and supporters of the arts. Hello, everybody, my name is Hakeem. Oni Budo, also known as Hakim Mr. Impact, and I'm delighted to welcome you to this very, 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 very special Dance Consortium Masterclass with Alvin Ailey American Theatre. The impact of the young people working with the Alvin Ailey dancers was immense, it was absolutely amazing. It felt really amazing to be on the stage at Sadler's Wells, um, especially having heard the story of how the dancers got to where they were during the Q&A, having worked really hard. It felt really inspiring and amazing to be there with them. I think it's so vital that particularly young dance artists get the inspiration from world-class work. I was so lucky to grow up in Edinburgh and, and see work at Edinburgh Festival, like Pina Bausch. Um, if you're not 
exposed to that quality of fantastic work, I think it just limits your ambitions and it limits your aspirations. And so it's so vital that we get the best dance in the world, but we also connect it with people who may think, oh, it's not for me or I can't afford it. We need to make sure that there's a, there's a bridge so that the talented artists of tomorrow get to see this work now. Being a dance consortium future leader really enabled my confidence to grow and flourish from being able to get a multiple amount of experiences communicating with a variety of different people in different settings. I was able to learn more about the industry in ways that I wouldn't have considered before, which I've been able to implement into my career pathway so far. I've printed off my diary for the last eight weeks and I'm gonna let you all have a look at it because that's actually probably the best insight into what my job is. The Dance Ambassadors Future Leaders programme is um, very, very important to us. It's so important now more than ever that we motivate and we inspire the next generation of not just dancers and choreographers, but um, dance leaders, programmers, educators, teachers, um, box office staff, front of house staff, all of those roles that make up a vibrant dance sector. Over the past few months, we have loved looking back and sharing some of our reminiscences with artists and companies who we've been proud to present in the UK over the past 20 years. Many thanks to all of those, to audiences and participants and all members of the Dance Consortium team who've been part of that journey. Hooray and congratulations to Dance Consortium. It's been a long time that we've worked together and I'm I can't come up with a witty anecdote to uh, indicate how important and how influential our relationship has been. It is my delight to wish you a happy 20th anniversary and what a pleasure it is to dance for UK audiences. Because your commitment to dance is so extensive and earnest um, that we really feel the connection uh, as not being away from home, as not being just in the UK, but being sort of in our element uh, because we have the same goals, uh, and that is a wonderful thing. Just uh, last autumn, there was uh, Dada Masilo with that tremendous Giselle. I hadn't heard of her, I didn't know it existed. That was one of the most thrilling nights I had at the theater last year. It's been those kinds of experiences that have made Dance Consortium a very vital and revelatory part of the entire UK dance ecology. Dance Consortium's work is more important now than ever, uh, especially those aspects of the work that can continue, especially education work. We've done some fantastic collaborative work around the country uh, in with young dancers and with young producers. And I think really this is where it can be valuable in bringing another generation into contact with the very best international dance and having them learn uh, at, you know, from some sort of really great companies and professionals. And I also think that some of the future will be online in real time. Um, the work that we did recently with the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theatre was fantastic. Uh, where it was a mixture of in a studio and simultaneously broadcast to other studios around the country. So I think there's a lot of work we can, we can be getting on with right now. And of course, hoping that we'll go back to bringing in the very best international companies before too long. I hope coming out of this time, uh, there remains in all the chief executives of the theatres across the UK, the appetite but also the courage to stick with Dance Consortium for the next 20 years and ensure that future audiences can enjoy the same spectrum of wonderful world dance that we've been seeing for the last 20. And I think art will always be there to lift people's spirit. And I think the benefit of bringing companies from different latitudes of the world uh, to sharing a different perspective and different culture I think it would be highly appreciated, especially in this time of crisis. I think that 
what is happening online is great but i'm really looking forward to live theater because i think that live theater is the best